sometimes I like to find something that's going to sit on the retainer to press it down. That way it's not going to bend. This particular snap ring is kind of difficult on these units. You have to play with these to make sure they're all going to seat for you. done this too many times, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
you have two lugs that look different. This only indexes in the case one way because your parking pole has to sit in this window. Inside the case there's a corresponding spot that, that's only going to fit into. Oops. And sometimes you could just use your output shaft. Make sure that's seated correctly. Then we'll take this over to the press. Um, you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing in there because it's... All right. First thing, we've got to put our bearing in the case. I like to, if possible, put this whole setup in together because it's easier than trying to thread all this stuff together once it's down in there. Put it together and grab it with snap ring pliers. Now we got to put our low reverse clutches in. These steels only fit in a certain way. There's a thick pressure plate that goes to the bottom. Now you don't want to keep uh, filming all this. Alright, after we get our last low reverse steel plate in, we're going to put our second clutch housing in. There's a hole. Obviously it's got to align with this hole. You just have to gently ease it in there. What helps sometimes is to get your sun gear, put it in, turn. Sometimes your second clutch housing will drop right down. Once that's all in, you want to put your snap ring in, which you could. Sometimes do it like this. It doesn't always work though. Squeeze it together. Put it in the case with the opening face in the bottom here. Now we're also going to get a couple little taps and, and make sure it's seated correctly. Our kit has a six clutch second gear setup. So sometimes we need to machine this spacer 20 30 thousandths to get the correct clearance.